Hi friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to create a conditional form on our WordPress website which will have the following flow. So basically, we are going to create a survey where we'll ask people what games they like. If they select indoor, they will be shown three options of which indoor games they prefer. Is it chess, carom board or ludo? When they select any one of these options, the quiz will come to an end. Similarly, if somebody selects outdoor games, he will be given two options, individual games or team games. If they are selecting individual games, they will not be seeing the team game options, neither they will be seeing the indoor game options. So, this is, uh, this is something which is quite challenging when you want to do it on WordPress. But in this video, we will understand and learn how exactly we can implement this into our website. For this specific exercise, we'll be using the Easy Form plugin. You can get the uh, you can get the link of this plugin in the description of this video. Now, let me just give the name to this thing: Game Survey. So, this is the title of uh, the form okay now we, when we scroll down here it asks us the page title and the description so here we can copy paste the uh, this what games you like as a title and description select your favorite games now when you click here you can see there is a already a short text added here. You can click on the drop down and you will have other options which have been mentioned here like paragraph, radio, checkbox, name, email. If you want to capture name and email ID, you can do that as well. Drop down number, time, yes, no, hidden, field, linear scale, ratings, etc. etc. So there are tons of options to select from. Now here I will be selecting drop down and in the label I will be giving the question what games you like. So this will be my question and I can give the title here as game survey. Now here we will give the options indoor. I will just copy that. That will be my option number one add answer and option number two is going to be outdoors now here once this section has been added we will have to add one more section here now this will be a subsection if somebody is selecting the indoor games as an option so i'll click on add section i'll write indoor games now here instead of dot again i'll select a drop down i simply can click on d and the drop down will be selected now i can just write which indoor games you like question mark now here i can put three options chess Carom board, Ludo. Okay. Now the next challenge is how do we switch to that section after selecting indoor as an option here? For this, we will go back to the previous section and on the right hand side, I'll select enable logic jump and required. Now when you select enable logic jump, you will be seeing two drop downs which are added beside the options. So I'll just select here, go to section one, go to section two. So here I'll just select this option. So whenever somebody is selecting indoor games, he will be redirected or sent to the second section. Similarly, when somebody submits the answers here in the indoor game section, we want the form to be get submitted. Again, we'll go on the 
right hand side and we'll select enable logic jump now here we'll select submit form for all the three options this is since this is the last part and after this we want the user form to get submitted now we'll add one more section and that will be the outdoor games section so we are done with the indoor games and the three options here and now we will start with the outdoor games and here we can give the label as outdoor games here we can give the options individual games or team games so so we'll just uh, select a drop down as an option and we will write a question which type of outdoor games you like option number 1 will be individual games and option number 2 will be team games so now again we will enable the logic jump here now since these sections are not yet created will not be selecting anything so we'll just go down here we'll add one more section this section will be individual games and here we'll have a drop down option which individual outdoor games you like and here we will copy paste all the three options hide and seek marbles or parachute now again on the right hand side we will select enable logical jump and since this is the last part of it we will get this form submitted once these options are selected similarly we will have one section for team games and here we will have a drop down we will have which outdoor team games do you like so we'll select cricket soccer basketball again we will select enable logical jump and we will submit this form okay once these answers are selected now we'll just go back up on the top and uh, we will select the options or the sections where the user will go when they will select any of these options so here we will select individual games for individual option and team games for team games options so if you look at it carefully what we are doing is we are naming it uh, the options are same as the sections so the option name is individual games and the section name is also individual games now this is very important because you don't want to get confused by naming it something different okay then again you will have to remember it now it becomes very easy for me to select an individual game section just by looking at the option as individual games okay we'll just go up there and we'll select which indoor games you like yes this will submit the form we'll just go up again what games you like indoor games and outdoor games we will have to select the outdoor game section and this is done so basically there are five pages but the user will not be seeing all the five pages in one go the flow will totally depend on what options the user is selecting now this is done so what we can do is we can simply save this options 
Now that the options are saved, we will go through and see the other options also which are here. Okay. So styles, you can select a classic light or a classic dark theme. You can select the main color, form width, etc. So you've got all the options. You can add the form logo also, title alignment on PC font size, on mobile font size. So you've got a tons of option with this plugin provides which you can go through individually and set it as per your preference. Next, we can see the settings also. So the form category survey. Okay, this is one of the categories that I have added. If you want to add more categories, you can just go on the left hand side in the form categories. You can add more categories and you can categorize all the forms that you have on your uh, results. Next is research setting. So you can redirect after submission. You can redirect it to a specific URL. You can enable the exit button, which will again go to a specific URL. You can select the loader, whatever style you like. You can also upload your own GIF or your own text that will be, uh, you know, shown as a loader. You can have your thank you message also. Your uh, thank you message can also be added there. Conditional result, you can set conditional results also. Like if somebody is selecting any of uh, these options, if the answer is cricket, you can have a customized message which is related to cricket or maybe you can redirect the user to your cricket accessory page which he can he or she can consider ordering. So basically this is a really nice plugin where you can play around and you know customize as many things as you want. Limitation users, maximum number of attempts per user, access only to logged in users. So all these are general settings which you can uh, set it as per your specific requirement. Email, you can send email to the users. You can write your own custom message. You can send email to the admin. You can do email configuration. You can send summary to admin user, etc. And then there's the last part is the integration. So integrations you can do with MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, all these uh, places. In fact, all these options you get in the general settings where you can connect your WordPress website with these applications and it becomes very easy for you to, uh, you know, collect or migrate the data to these tools easily like PayPal, your MailChimp, Campaign Monitor, Active Campaign, Slack, Google Sheets. And there are tons of options which are out here. Now let's uh, go back to our forms. So we'll just go back uh, to this form here. And uh, I'll just go back to general. And uh, here I'll click on save and close. So basically this form has been saved. And we will get a short code which can be added to the page. So this is the game survey. I'll copy this short code. I'll click create a new page maybe. Okay, add new page and we can rename this page as game survey okay and here we can copy paste the short code needless to say you can have some content above or below it the short code can be easily pasted on any of your page builders such as elementor visual composer dv etc now we can just publish uh, this uh, specific page i just click on view page and here we can see the title is repeated because the page title and the quiz title are the same which games you like let me select indoor games let me click on next okay which indoor games you like maybe carom board if i select on next the quiz gets submitted Similarly, if you want to check the Outflow games, I'll just refresh this page again. And uh, let's uh, look at outdoor games here. We'll click on next, which, okay, so I think I've selected indoor games. I'll just uh, refresh this. And we'll click on next. We've got which type of outdoor games you like. 
let me select team games then click on next and here we'll get the team games drop down soccer for example i'll click on next and the form gets submitted so uh, this is how we have completed our conditional form which is there we have got some more options available in this plugin which are submissions so categories we already spoke about so we can just click on submissions and here we can see how many people have submitted the form okay so uh, there are two users so you can click on view details you'll get the information about the users the ip address you can see the individual responses that they have provided okay uh, in the survey you can also export it in a form of excel or a csv or also print this so uh, this is really useful to consolidate the data that you have you can also import or export all the quizzes that you have created so uh, let's say if you're using this plugin for some other website and you want to replicate this conditional survey you did not you know create it from scratch you can export the survey whatever you want and you can click on export to json and that data can easily be imported using the import tab here now apart from creating conditional form you can also create contact form templates payment form templates multi page form templates newsletters column layout template and also you can integrate it with a number of tools mentioned on this website so basically overall this plugin gives you a lot of features and options and you can try out if you're looking for a comprehensive contact or form plugin thanks i hope you liked the video please click on the subscribe button if you enjoy our content